Hey guys, uh, just a quick tutorial. I've been uh, playing around with Cinewa uh, with After Effects and Cinema 4D, and I've run into a slight uh, little kind of road bump along the way. Um, I've been using the compositing tag to try and create a um, infinite white background, and I've encountered the issue that you actually have to sort of change some settings around. So I'm going to run you through uh, Nick from uh, Grayscale Gorilla's tutorial uh, just real quickly, just to show you how to create an infinite white background, and then I'm going to show you how to make that work in Cineware. Um, so here's what I'm going to go ahead and do. I'm just going to tab out into uh, Cinema 4D. I've got my comp here. It's all linked up, um, uh, obviously using the sort of standard way of just literally importing it. Um, and I've got my Cineware plugin on the left, as you can see. So going back to Cinema 4D, um, I'm just going to go ahead. I've got myself a material here, which isn't too exciting. It's just a. It's got a white gradient, uh, white to sort of dark gradient um, as the color, um, and I've set the reflection to 50%. Um, and I'm just going to go ahead and drop that onto my plane, which is at the bottom of my scene. And if we give that a quick render, you'll be able to see that that's working great. The only issue is, is our background doesn't look uh, fantastic. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and just create myself a background element. If you've done this, like I said, in um, uh, Nick from Grayscale Gorilla's tutorial, he does a great job of explaining how all this works. You then want to go ahead and drop the same material that you just dropped onto the plane onto the background and double check to make sure that you've got the projection set to frontal on both of them so that's on the plane and on the background and as you can see on the plane at the moment we've got that set to UV so if I set that to frontal and the only other thing to add now is to click on our plane go ahead and click on tags cinema 4d tags compositing drag that to the very very end and uh, what I'm going to go ahead and do is just on the tag section click on compositing background and with that we've now got our infinite white background uh, which is perfect it's exactly what we want uh, only issue being is that uh, we w when we save this and I'll open it in After Effects um, we have the issue that when it once it's rendered through we have the white but it doesn't recognize the black back it doesn't recognize the background by standard now the way to fix this is super easy and I spent about 20 minutes half an hour trying to figure out earlier on all you have to do is browse down to the Cineware 4d settings and click on the cinema 4d multi-pass setting and once that's enabled that basically automatically sorts it for you. And the great thing about this is that you can then change the camera from Cinema 4D camera to the comp camera if you've got one set up and uh, that basically allows you to move around and manipulate the sequence as you would do if you uh, if you were working from After Effects. So you do it, we don't actually have to we don't actually have to go anywhere we can just go ahead and move around and then uh, that way we can really move around our composition and uh, gives us a lot of flexibility to really really play with our uh, our composition in After Effects. Uh, so there you go, just a little uh, tiny little kind of quick tip uh, which I was struggling with uh, for about half an hour earlier on um, after sort of importing the uh, something which was using a white background on. Um, if you're still having issues then I believe you can also use object buffers um, in Cinema 4D. I've read online that that's also another suggested method um, but I'll let you guys kind of have a look through that and see what you can uh, find out. Uh, thanks very much, I hope this helped you out in some way or another and you guys take care.